Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. So I asked for comments from you guys for video ideas and suggestions. And if it's something you need help with right away, say so in the comments. You know, this is not just a suggestion. You know, I need some help. I'm maybe by tomorrow before I go fly. And if I catch it in time, we can help you. But I get asked uh, how how to pick a motor for a plane. And the way I can answer that is just show you guys how I first did it. And I did it by the power of the internet and just looking for a plane that I recognized or I knew about how big it was and then I would see what motor it came with. And then I would try to find that motor individually for sale and did it have any specifications, a manual or something. And then I could just kind of learn about it. And I'll show you guys that here shortly. But for some real quick size comparisons this one right here came out of a umx radian and it is a brushed motor only has two wires that's the number one giveaway the difference between a brushed and a brushless the list has three wires but this is a brushed motor for the radian really small i got a nine volt battery here i'll show you guys a close-up too to show you the difference in size this is a brushless motor out of a UMX Turbo Timber. This is what they call a size 10 motor. It comes in many different KVs. You can find this motor in the, uh, the, the Timber, uh, the Air Tractor. Uh, it's going to come in, in, in several of them. This came out of the FMS Pits or the Beaver, one of the two. But it's a 42. 58 with a with a 550 kV 4258 meaning 42 millimeters wide and 58 millimeters tall is pretty much the same thing as a 4260 this motor came out of a e-flight uh, Draco and it is a 5065 with a 400 kV kV stands for the rpms per volt if you were using this motor with a 3s battery which is 11.1 .1 volt then that voltage times whatever kv it is is how fast the propeller would spin and then if you used a 4s battery the 14.8 volt then it would spin faster so those are those are all kind of things to keep in mind when you're looking for a motor the uh when we were trying to find a, a motor here for the uproar in the manual it, it said you know we recommend this motor but if it didn't have any recommendations then we would use my theory or not my theory we would use my my formula to try to find a motor for it here on the internet you know for example we know what the fms pits looks like find it on the internet find out what motors in there try to buy the motor try to find some specs if you can't find any specs on the 4258 550 kv try to find one really close to it like the 4260 and uh, and then some of these manufacturers in their on their website or the information about the motor and I'll show you guys that it'll say hey this will fly this plane with this propeller this ESC this battery it, it pretty much shows you a lot of stuff so that's how you can go about picking out a motor let me give you guys some close-ups real quick on these, and then I'll show you on the internet how I went, how I went about uh, learning when I first started picking motors out. Alright, this motor on the right came out of a UMX turbo timber. You can see it compared to the size of a 9-volt battery. This is out of a UMX Radian, Radian and it is a brushed motor it has two wires and it uses a gearbox kind of see the, you can see the big gear that's going to turn the you know the prop look at my nasty hands and then the golden the gold or gear down there that turns the turns the big gear well that just gives you an idea there and then here is the size 10 motor <clears throat> compared to the 9 volt battery and here is the 4258 out of the pits or the beaver one of the two compared to the 9 volt 
and here is the big motor that came out of the Draco compared to the 9 volt so now we can start seeing some sizes okay going to our favorite website to look at planes that we know to get an idea what size motor is inside those planes that will help us with information to pick out the motor that we need so I'm at Tower Hobbies that's my favorite uh, hobby store they are they're the same company as Horizon Hobby they used to be their own uh, store website whatever a long time ago before the internet I remember getting their catalog a couple times a year and it was as thick as the uh, Sears wish book and that's how we got RC products back then or at least I dreamed about getting them as a kid you know I had to spend my allowance pretty wisely <laughs> but let's um just for example here let's look at the FMS pits okay and let's see what kind of information we can find on the motor so far we're seeing a 50 amp ESC down here and a 4258 motor with a KV of 460 the 4258 is the size 42 millimeters wide 58 millimeters long the 460 kV is the rpms per volt now it will spin faster with a, a 6s 22.2 volt battery versus a 4s 14.8 volt battery so let's see what other information we can find on this plane just scrolling through the page here all right this product specifications hit more and I'm looking for maybe the weight of the plane oh let's see here no weight yet so let's go and maybe click on uh, manuals and support here and we'll go down the English one maybe it'll give us the flying weight that just adds more information to what we're needing here to learn from all right inside the manual it says the flying weight is 3500 grams and I did the math on that and that's 7.7 .7 pounds so we know the 4258 motor with a 50 amp BNC on a 6s battery will fly a 7.7 .7 pound plane so then let's go a little farther and I found this motor here it's a 4260 uh, 480 kb but it's roughly the same size and we're just using this for learning so we can see here that this motor recommends a 5s to 6s battery a 13 by 10 to a 15.8 propeller and this motor will fly a 3d plane up to six pounds and a sport plane up to nine pounds so that's just a whole lot of information right there on, on you know one motor so we, we, we can do a whole lot of learning right there let's look at the uh, Draco we all know the Draco and it recommends a battery of a 4s to 6s and let's see what kind of motor information we can get on this well it's got a hundred amp ESC the reason it's got a hundred amp ESC is because they're advertising for you to use a 4s up to 6s battery the smaller the battery the more amps if you only flew it on a 6s battery you would not need the 100 amp esc that's for sure let's see what else we can find on this motor here you guys hear that thunder it's starting to storm out here pretty good all right down here in the specifications it says the plane weighs 10 pounds without the battery 8.5 Mm, let's see and I went to extra or uh, additional replacement parts and here's the motor a 5065 brushless and then here's the motor again I was looking for information on it and I found a motor very comparable it's probably the same motor just different paint to be honest with you but this is the, the, uh, the 5065 450 KV and we can go down here and we can see that uh, 
they're recommending a 5 to 6S LiPo, so not a 4S like the Dracos. And a, a prop 16.6 to 17.8, and it's saying it can fly 3D 9 pounds and sport to 14.5 pounds. So that's just a, a ton of information. Then look here max burst 85 amps, continuous at 80 amps. Now remember that the motor close to it had a 100 amp ESC in the Draco, but here it, in recommended voltages it's recommending five to six it, it doesn't say anything about four so that's just some more information there and then I also found this page the brushless motor spec sheet and it has all kinds of information you can see in this list here weight so let's just pick one here this column right here is a 4260 same size motor in the pits and it says right here 9.5 pounds 13 10 to 15 8 propeller 60 fpsc and it just has all kinds of information 5s to 6s so there's just a ton of stuff how we can learn what size motors needed for what project well maybe that info right there will help a few of you out on how to how to pick a motor or, or at least get you headed in the right direction so I'm going to do a little work on the uproar and I think I'm going to try to finish it real quick where we can use our 636 programming and instead of doing it on the foam board plane after we do a few more maybe lessons with the foam board plane we'll put the 636 in here so we'll be doing it in a, in a real plane so that that's the idea well uh, I got one more video coming out about motors and then and then we'll just see what happens but hey if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed please do so and click the like button and that really helps out the YouTube algorithm that puts my videos up in front of other people and then that in turn gets the subscription rate to go up and when the subscription rate goes up that makes me happy and just makes me want to keep doing this so then everything's good well, all right, guys, hey, until next time, you'll see me here.